I've been listening very carefully to your uh, testimony, uh, Mr. Fergus, and um, I wanted to know when you realized that this was a serious error. When did you know that it was wrong to have done that video? The very moment I saw that it was, uh, or that it was reported to me that it had been uh, uh, aired publicly, it all of a sudden, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Julian, it became very clear that that was just wrong. That wasn't the intention. Um, it shouldn't have, not only wasn't the intention, but as I said in my testimony, as I say to you again, it should never have been taped in the first place. It was, it became very clear in hindsight how wrong that was. And that's the reason why I apologize to you, and I apologize to all members, and I'm apologizing to all Canadians. But when you were doing the video, in, in your ropes, in, in, uh, in the House, uh, in, in your Speaker's chambers, what, what was going through your mind? I, and, and I say this uh, with respect. Uh, I, I know as a Member of Parliament that I can't film uh, partisan videos in my constituency office, in my Hill office. We take careful attention to do that. The precedence is vast. We all know that it is wrong. I don't understand what was going through your mind as you were taping it. And did you consult with your chief of staff at any point to say, do you think this is a good idea? The difficulty through you, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Julian, um, that was the problem, is that it was a very quick, uh, let's just quickly get this done. Um, and it was not a partisan video, it was a very personal video. I did talk about my past, um, but it wasn't one where I was pronouncing about the present or making a, a declaration on that front. It was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it, period. But when I was making it, it was in the moment, it was between two meetings, we were in a rush, and uh, I just did it in one take and moved on uh, to my next meeting. And I, I, I've been playing over this moment in my mind over and over again. I wish I had just taken a moment to think about it. Sometimes in politics, and, and I think we all do this, but it's it's a glaring when it happens to you, and it's embarrassing as, as, all, as all out. Uh, is that sometimes when you do these things, you're not thinking we move from pillar to post so quickly. We go from one event to another to another. We don't take the time sometimes to just take a step back and think about it. That's why a protocol uh, is being put in place to make sure that all communications will be going through uh, a, a, a process that will be uh, using the administration of the House, especially the clerk, to determine whether something is appropriate or not. I'm, I'm troubled by something else as well. In your apology to the House on Monday, December 4th, you said, video was played at a convention for a party that I'm not a member of in a province where I do not live in and where I've been unable to vote for nearly three decades. But on the Saturday, 48 hours before, the Globe and Mail quoted you as saying, in, in terms of Mr. Fraser, he demonstrated so much calm and conviction and resolve and determination, and he's held it all together at a very challenging time in the history of our party. You referred to our party in the Globe and Mail on Saturday. You said on Monday uh, that I'm not a member of this party. It's in a province I do not live in where I've been unable to vote for nearly three decades. Do you see the contradiction between those two statements? I, I do, and if you had asked me if I, if I hadn't taken a look at the transcript uh, of the video, um, uh, I wouldn't have, uh, I certainly wouldn't have used that word as our party. What I was referring to in terms of his past, my past, and where it really connected was, was 30 years ago. 